Welcome Libra to your next major relationship tarot forecast. For those of you that are new to this channel and joining us, welcome guys. For those of you that are returning, welcome back and thanks for your continued support. So as always, the reading that I'm going to be doing here today, it is going to be a general spread and what this means is it probably won't resonate with everyone who's watching. So in that case, please take what resonates with you, leave aside what doesn't. Or perhaps you would like a personal reading with me to do so, please feel free to uh, connect. I am going to list my email address for you all just at the bottom of the video here where the show more section is. Along with all the different types of readings that I offer. And you'll find that a personal reading is going to resonate with you a lot more closely as it is personal. And will directly relate to you in your situation. So the spread that I'm doing here is intended for Libra Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. So let's go ahead and take a look at the messages here that are coming in for you. Let me give the cards a quick shuffle. And see what comes out here. Okay. Four of Wands. The Empress. Three of Pentacles. Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and lastly, the Eight of Wands here. Okay. Um, hey, you've got someone wonderful coming in for you here, Libra. I feel like the person that you're going to be connecting with in regards to your next major relationship, I feel like this is uh, looking really it's looking beautiful, actually. Um, the Four of Wands here. I love this card for you because I feel like this is someone who's going to make you extremely happy. Okay, this is someone who I feel like is going to bring something into your life that wasn't there before or has been taken away from you. Okay, um, it seems as though this person is very optimistic and they have a good energy about them. And I feel like this is how this person, this individual will leave you feeling in a good mood. I feel like their energy is going to rub off on you. Um... This is someone who I feel like is um, just a normally a happy person, someone free from uh, burdens and responsibilities, um, very optimistic. The glass is not only half full, it's also a refillable type of individual with this person. Um, I'm seeing celebrations and success around this person. Okay, and I'm also seeing for some of you some sort of fruitful reunion here with someone. So look... This person could be someone from the past, okay? It could be like someone from the past whom you might be able to reconnect and revisit uh, the connection there. For others, it is a brand new person that is coming in for you, okay? Um, a strong fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or even a strong earth sign here, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. could also be a water sign. I mean, it could be a uh, air sign as well, but I'm getting strong fire and uh, earth here. This is person is, I feel like this person is quite attractive. Uh, they like to look um, amazing. Like they like to wear, um, you know, perfume. Uh, their voices are quite, uh, I just feel like, yeah, this person is really attractive. Very attractive from head to toe. Um, could turn a few heads or has turned a few heads. Um, I feel like this person either has been married before or has been engaged. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. I feel like this person has had a previous marriage or previous engagement that didn't work out. But you know what? Um... They've moved on from it, okay? They've moved on from it, they've completely healed, um, and they're ready to find love again. I'm seeing this person um, to be quite... I feel like they're either an architect here. This is someone who either works in, with finance, so in the finance department, or works with numbers, crunches numbers, um... Or this is someone, an accountant, or someone, uh, perhaps an architect, a builder here, uh, something to do with design as well. They could work with technology, graphics design, um, uh, something quite intricate from what I see. Something uh, which allows them to use their um, innate creativity skills here. Okay, um, I feel like this person also has either exudes uh, some feminine energy or they have a fair bit of feminine energy. So they could be very close to their mother or they could be very close to their siblings, in particular any sisters if they have any. Uh, I feel like this is someone who is very big on celebrations and very big on family and community here. Okay, um, 
they may have a family business that they uh, run. Okay, they like to keep it in the family. They may have in inherited a family business here. They're also very big on their environment, from what I can see. I feel like this person needs to have everything look pretty. Um, and, and I feel like it also stems from the fact that, especially if they're architects or, you know, work in um, design or... Um, any such roles. I feel like this person is very big on, you know, how their home is presented and how they present themselves to the world here, okay? Um, there's just an overall uh, very positive type of energy here, Libra, which I really like. Uh, they understand that, you know, life's more of a celebration. There's a lot more to celebrate than there is to commiserate here, okay? Um, quite traditional, I feel like, in many ways, Especially if they are a strong earth sign, they are seeking someone traditional, they do want a traditional relationship, they do want engagement, marriage, they want a traditional type of union. Um, they can be a little bit rigid in their ways, okay? This is someone who I feel like has a routine and sticks to it. Um, they pr probably prefer the mundane over, you know, something spontaneous, but that works for them. They're also juggling a lot. They could be in between two jobs, or they could be uh, juggling a few different, um, so they could be focus on their career and also uh, juggling passion projects. Um, that could be between two or three different jobs. I just see them uh, juggling multiple priorities here all at once. Okay, so they could have this family business here. And they could also have their own career path that they've chosen. Okay, either very they're either very deeply religious, uh, very spiritual, or just very quite tra or just quite traditional. Um, I, they definitely seem to me as if they like uphold and honor a lot of family traditions. Okay, and um, I do get a strong sense that this person is someone who uh, I've mentioned this earlier, but they like routine. Like they they like to stick to routine here. I feel like it's um. There are going to be some inconsistencies from what I can see. And I feel like Libra, it is going to, what's going to pose an issue is the fact that this person has, um, you may feel as though their attention, you don't always have their attention, and you may feel as though they sometimes can come across as a little bit distracted because they are juggling multiple priorities. They could be in between uh, things and in between tasks. They could be uh, working extra long hours here. Um, they could be managing a team. I feel like this person is always on the go. And I feel like the, the obstacle that uh, could present itself here is the fact that you'll find that they may not always have their, you may not always have their undivided attention, okay? You may feel as though sometimes they're, you know, they're, they're, they're with you, but their mind is elsewhere. I do feel like this is going to be a very strong, uh, passionate connection. A lot of uh, passion, a very strong attraction here, but I also feel like um, it's going to be deeply emotionally fulfilling. This person, you do have a lot of earthly energy, and earthly energy is suggestive of stability and security. I feel like this person is very, um, they want commitment, they want something stable here, okay? I feel like this person wants, uh, you know, they want to settle down, they want the house, the picket fence, they want a family, they want a family pet. They want the whole shebang here. I also, and I've mentioned this earlier, I feel like a lot of them have already uh, been either previously divorced or previous, uh, previously engaged. Okay, it didn't work out. But hopefully second or third time is a charm, right? With you. It is going to unfold. This connection here, I feel like is going to... I'm seeing that you're meeting this individual on some sort of social occasion. There's some sort of either some sort of upcoming social occasion here. Now you do have earthly, a lot of earthly energy that keeps uh, popping out here, and earthly energy is probably the more slower moving energy out of the other elements. So look, it could be, um, you know, I feel like this is still in the near distant, um, in the near distant future. How's that? In the distant future here. So I feel like, you know. Um, it could be months or perhaps even going into next year before this person enters your life. But when it happens, it'll happen so quickly. There'll be no holding back. It'll unfold very naturally, very organically, though rapidly as well. Okay, guys, that there is your spread. So as always, thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, by liking, commenting, or sharing. For those of you that do want a personal spread, 
feel free to connect otherwise take care guys i'll catch up with you later